Oh my gosh, I have got to record this. I got to record this. There's so much. Oh my gosh, there's so much within the sealed portion. But this, oh my gosh, i just been sitting here for the last three minutes saying, wow. All right, so I'm going to start. This is um the sealed portion, chapter 18. And we're starting at verse 21. Okay, this is important. This is very important. I hope you listen. And I pray that the spirit of truth, by the will of the Most High, if you are meant for his kingdom, let this reach you. Okay? Verse 21. Therefore, the law of the gospel is the most important law that the children of men can learn during the days of their probation. And it was this law that Yahusha taught unto his disciples and unto the people. And it was this law that his disciples were commanded to teach unto the people after he was gone. And it is by this law of the gospel that Yahusha taught that all of the children of the Most High are saved. And again I say unto you, for this reason, Yahushua HaMashiach, our Messiah, is our Savior, in that he is the giver of this law. And there is nothing that Yahushua can do for us that will save us in the kingdom of the Most High, except teach unto us this law which are the commandments of the Most High. And again I say unto you, that there is nothing that Yahushua did for us when he was upon this earth that shall save us, except give us the law of the gospel. Verse 23. And there will be many in the latter days that shall believe that by the blood of the Messiah we are saved. And that the blood of the Messiah has atoned for our sins. And that we must only believe in the Messiah and we will be saved in the kingdom of the Most High. And in these beliefs... Many people do error and are being led away from the law of the gospel and are taught the precepts of men. And I say unto those of you who believe these things, yeah, even as I have said unto you before, even in this record have I said these things unto you. Ye do not understand the scriptures. And have not inquired of the Holy Spirit for an understanding of the atonement and what the Messiah intended by this. For the intent of Yahusha was to make us one with the Most High Almighty, even as he commanded us that we should be perfect as our Father in heaven is perfect. And do you think that you can become like unto our father if ye do not understand the things that the father doeth? And the father obeyeth the law of the gospel in all things. And he has commanded his son, even Yahusha the Hamashiach, to teach us this law, that we might learn to live by it. And if we live by the same law by which our father liveth, then we become one with him, and then the atonement is fulfilled. And I wish that I could write pleasant words unto you, like unto the words of Adam, which he gave unto his children in the land of Adam and Diamond. For these words feel good to your souls and cause you to feel a spirit of joy and optimism, even that they cause you to weep with exceeding joy because of the things he have said unto his children.
But I am constrained by the Spirit and commanded by Yahushua that I speak unto you the truth in plainness, so that ye might understand and have no more excuse for your unrighteousness and your evil ways, which ways are contrary to the law of the gospel, which I shall allow the words of Adam to teach you in this record. And in the part of this record that was unsealed and came unto you with the record of my father, Mormon, I was commanded by Yahushua not to reveal these things unto you in their plainness, but that I should give unto you the similitude and symbolism of these things. And it is my duty toward you as my brothers and my sisters that I teach you these things even that I might bring you unto repentance and prepare for the great and dreadful day of Yahushua when he shall return once again to this earth with all those who have been resurrected after him, even the righteous who are ready and willing to obey the law of this gospel of which I have spoken. And why do ye suppose that it is called the great and dreadful day of Yahushua? Should it not be a day of comfort and joy? Should it not be a day of rejoicing in which ye shall feel those special feelings of the mercy of his atoning blood that ye have deceived yourselves into feeling all the days of your probation? You should be saying, wow, right about now. Most of you that grew up in these churches being deceived by the precepts of men, you should be saying, wow, right now. Verse 30. Yet nowhere is it written in the Holy Scriptures that the day of Yahushua shall be filled with feelings of joy that ye express when ye think about him upon the cross. Yeah, when you think of his hands pierced and bleeding to pay the depths of your sins. For behold, he did not pay any debt for your sins, for ye shall pay your own debts. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, mean, I didn't even get this far. I didn't even get this far. I, I, I didn't get this far. I, oh my gosh, bro. I, we just read that together for the first time, okay? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a dagger. This is daggers to your freaking Christian ideology, okay? Oh man, bro. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So many errors, so many error with religions and precepts of men. Let me reread this again. Verse 30. Yet nowhere... Is it written in the Holy Scriptures that the day of Yahushua shall be filled with the feelings of joy that ye express when you think about him upon the cross? Yeah, when ye think of his hands pierced and bleeding to pay for the depths of your sins. For behold, he did not pay any debt for your sins, for ye shall pay your own debts, live by the sword, die by the sword. You sow, you reap what you sow. What you sow, you shall reap. So you deceived yourself. If you believe that you're saved by blood, by his blood being shed on the cross for you. You're in error. You're in error. Okay? For behold, he did not pay any debt for your sin, for ye shall pay your own debts. And these debts shall be required of you, because ye have failed to keep his commandments and abide by the law of his gospel that he has given unto you. Thus is the day of Yahushua great and dreadful, even full of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And ye shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And your smoke of your torment shall ascend up forever and ever, and ye shall have no rest, 
day or night. And all these things shall come to pass according to the prophecies of all the holy prophets who have ever been. And what then shall ye think who believe that Yahushua has died for your sins and taken upon himself your debts? What then shall ye think who have felt the false sensations of security and peace that the devil has caused to come over you when you look upon the cross of the Messiah as the way by which ye shall be forgiven for the evil that you do? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Verse 32. Let's read that again. And what then shall ye think who believe that Yahushua died for your sins and taken upon himself your debts? What then shall ye think? who have felt the false sensation of security and peace that the devil has caused to come over you when you look upon the cross of Hamashiach by the way which you shall be forgiven for the evil that you do. Will ye feel this sense of peace and security in his presence, yea, even in the presence of the Lamb, as it has been prophesied? I say unto you that ye shall not feel you shall not feel these things, but ye shall shrink from before him and wish that ye could command the rocks to fall upon you and hide you from the countenance of Yahushua. For he shall come down in all of his glory and give unto you once again his gospel, which is the same gospel that he gave unto the Israelites and which ye have written in the Bible which proceeded forth from the mouth of the Israelite. And ye shall also have these same words in the record of my father, in that part of this record that was not sealed. And then ye shall once again hear these things from his own mouth. And then ye shall have three testimonies of the word of the Most High. And then shall the law be fulfilled, which has been spoken by the Father, that in the words of three I will establish all my words. But this is not all. For ye shall have my words, which shall be given unto you in this part of the record of my Father, which has been sealed. And this shall be the final testimony of the gospel of Yahushua HaMashiach. And my words shall be plain and simple to understand. And if after reading my words, ye still do not understand the meaning of these things, then ye must remain until you hear them from the mouth of the Most High himself. And if it so be that ye do not understand and accept this gospel and live by its precepts as it has been given unto you and all these testimonies that ye shall receive, then when ye hear it from the mouth of the Most High, ye shall hear it to your condemnation, because ye have chosen even three times to disregard his words. And now I write to you in plainness concerning these things. And these things I say unto all the world, for by the things that I say unto you in plainness, ye shall be judged in the last day when Yahushua cometh in his glory with his holy angels. Behold, all religions, all doctrines, all principles, all beliefs, all scriptures, all writings, all holy men, all holy prophets, all institutions, all churches, all governments, all priesthoods, all laws, all sealings, all ordinances, all sacrifices, all traditions, all customs, yeah, even everything that is done upon this earth among the children of men are of no effect and have no power out of this world. In other words, they mean nothing in the kingdom of the Most High. The only thing that hath any meaning in the kingdom of the Most High 
is the law of the gospel and the commandments that are given therein. Therefore, if there are any among you who hear these things, and keep the law of the gospel, then this person is ready for the resurrection and the eternal kingdom of the Most High. They are those who will not cause any contentions in these kingdoms and shall live forever with those of their likeness in the worlds that the Father has prepared for us. And if there are any among you who think that ye shall be saved in any other way, even in that you believe that you need the ordinances and doctrines of a church, then ye do not understand the plainness of my words. And ye shall be one of those to whom Yahushua will say, Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. And why shall Yahushua say this unto them? Because they did not keep the law of the gospel as he has commanded, as he was commanded by the Father to give unto them. For the things which he shall command of them, this is the will of the Father. Behold, I have seen the last days both in my own vision and also through the words of the brother of Jared, of which I am making an abridgment and writing to you at this time. And in those days there are none, no, not one, save it, but a few only, who are humble, who are the humble followers of the Hamashiach, who live by this law of this gospel, who live by the law of this gospel. And in those days, there are none, no, not one, save it be a few only who are humble followers of the Hamashiach, who live by the law of this gospel. And your churches and the leaders of your churches, to whom ye look to be taught the will of the Most High, mislead you and cause you to error. And teach not the law of the gospel as it hath been given unto them through the holy scriptures. And more especially, I speak unto those of you of the church of Yahushua HaMashiach, even those of you who call your church after his holy name, but not in it. Behold. Ye are so centered on your church and the ordinances and functions therein that ye have very little time and effort to spend obeying the law of the gospel. And ye have been taught by your leaders that these ordinances and these functions are saving ordinances which are necessary for your salvation. And in this ye are deceived and are being led captive by the devil. And the words of Nephi are being fulfilled in you, in which he wrote, saying, And others he will pacify and lull them away into carnal security, that they will say, All is well in Zion. Yes, Zion prospereth. All is well. And thus the devil cheated their souls and leadeth them away carefully down to hell. And because your church prospereth exceedingly, yea, even above any other church that is built up among the children of men, ye have become rich, ye have become a rich and powerful people in the world. And the money that hath come from this prosperity that should be going to the poor and the needy, the sick and the afflicted, and those that are in prison, yeah, ye use this money to build up houses of worship, which ye go into on one day a week, and which are left empty for the rest of the week, when they could be used to help the poor and the needy in their afflictions. And if I could stop from condemning you, 
And if I could stop from condemning you before the Most High, that ye might repent without searing your souls further with the heat of my words, I would. And if I could stop from condemning you before the Most High, that ye might repent without searing your souls further with the heat of my words, I would. But I have seen the great temples that ye have caused to be constructed. And these ye have constructed to present the holy endowment that hath been explained unto you herein. Now we ain't going to the holy endowment yet. That might come later. But um, for this understanding, you, you, get the, you get the gist of it. But we'll talk about the holy endowment later. Don't worry about that. And they are full of the fine things of the world, even so much that ye have received much praise from the world because of them. And ye enter into these temples and think that ye are saviors of men, even that the endowment that ye receive is necessary for your salvation. And even this is not the end of your pride and your abominations before Yahushua. For ye also believe that the work of your hands, even the work that ye perform within these temples, will save those who are dead, which thing is the most abominable before the Most High Power. O oh, my brethren, ye are those that shall suffer in the most in the great and dreadful day of Yahushua. Ye shall listen to his words in that day and quickly realized that he did not command these things to be done among the children of men, ye will realize that the only concern that he hath for the world is that they live by the law of his gospel, which law ye did not teach in your churches and in your temples. And those who belong to your church shall watch in horror as Yahushua called his own servants from among those who did not belong to your church. Let me read that again. Mm -mm -mm. And those who belong to your church shall watch in horror as Yahushua calleth his own servants from among those who do not belong in your church. Yeah, even those who do not have the priesthood as you think that ye have. Even those who do not have the priesthood that ye think that ye have. Then what shall ye say at that time of the works that ye have accomplished during the days of your probation? What shall ye think? When ye are considered a thing of dross by the Yahushua, and that he has giveth no attention to the glory and greatness of your church, what you gonna say then? What you gonna say then when he looks upon you with disdain? And why is it that ye suffer more than those who are not of your church? And why is it that ye shall suffer more than those who are not of your church? Hmm? Why is it that you're going to suffer more? Yeah, why do ye believe that Yahushua will hold you accountable for more than he will hold the rest of those who have been deceived by the means of the miracles that Satan has caused to be wrought among you? I say unto you that ye shall be held more accountable because ye have already two witnesses of the gospel of which I have spoken. Even the words of the Messiah that he gave unto us, which is this gospel. And no other people on earth will have these two testimonies, which Yahushua has given unto the children of men. And Yahushua will use your pride and your arrogance against you. For in your pride and arrogance, ye think that ye are better than the rest of your brothers and sisters in the world. And that ye enjoy a happiness that they do not enjoy. And with this pride, ye send out missionaries to take your message of pride throughout the world. And ye shall carry the record of my father with you, and pretend that ye believe in this record. And ye shall testify unto the world that the fullness of the gospel of Yahushua HaMashiach is contained in this record.
and in this ye testify correctly. But by so testifying, ye are securing your own damnation. For ye testify of those things that ye do not do. And though Yahushua will have exceedingly great mercy for the sinner, he shall condemn and punish the hypocrite. And these words which I write unto you at this time, even in the sealed part of the plates upon which my father and I have written, and which I have been commanded to complete and hide in the earth to come forth in its due time of Yahushua, even these things ye shall reject, because they were not given unto you by the leaders of your church, which leaders are men of the world, which have received the fine things of the world, and the praises and honors of men. But these things shall condemn you, and shall confound your false doctrines and the traditions that ye have allowed to creep into the foundations of the church that is called after the name of Jesus, after the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. For in the beginning, the foundation of your church was given in its purity, and Yahushua suffered that it be organized according to the power of the holy priesthood and under the direction of the Holy Spirit. But ye shall reject the pure foundation that was given unto you by him. But ye shall reject the pure foundation that was given unto you by him. Who shall receive this record from the place wherein I shall hide it? And because of your wickedness, the world will reject you and shall murder him who has given these things unto you. But another like unto him shall Yahushua raise up to bring the sealed part of this record forth among you. And he shall have power given unto him even the power of the Holy Spirit, to confound you and preach repentance unto you and show you the wickedness of your ways. And ye shall become like unto the Israelites at Jerusalem, who were the murderers of the prophets of old. And ye shall call upon your secret combinations, which combinations ye think are of the Most High, and which ye think are righteous, even like unto them of old. Yeah, ye shall call upon these to murder this prophet. Yeah, ye shall become like the Nephites, at the time Samuel, the Lamanite, was called by Yahushua to preach repentance unto them. For when Samuel went forth to speak the truth concerning the wickedness of the church of the Most High that were among them, they wanted to kill him and cast him away from them, so that they might not hear his preaching. But Yahushua protected him, even that their bows and their arrows could not hit him. And he shall bring... And he, and he who shall bring forth the sealed part of this record shall flee unto the rest of the world for protection, even unto those who are not of your church. And they shall protect him and give him sanctuary until he has done all that which has been commanded of him by Yahushua HaMashiach. For if, for it was for it was the world that was responsible for the death of him that brought forth a portion of this record that was unsealed. And it was the cause of the wickedness of the church of the Most High that caused his death. And now this same church shall seek the death of the prophet of the Most High that shall bring these things forth unto you. And it shall be the world that openeth its mouth and consumeth the flood of water that is issued forth from the mouth of the serpent that hath control of this church of which I have spoken. Then shall the words of John be fulfilled which he wrote saying, And when the dragon saw 
that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. And to the woman were given two wings, two were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, and times, and half a time, from the face of the serpent. And the, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High, and have the testimony of Yahusha HaMashiach. For behold, the prophets of the Most High have been persecuted by the wicked ever since they were first called to bring the law of the gospel unto the children of men. And a true prophet of the Most High is always persecuted and hated by the world. And this is the thing that I ask of ye that belongeth to this great church in the latter days. Are your leaders hated by the world? Do those who have set themselves up as your prophets receive the afflictions of the prophets of old? I say unto you that they do not. And why do they not receive this persecution as a true prophet of the Most High should? Because they are of the world, and they seek the praise of the world more than they seek to teach you to teach unto you the law of the gospel. Because they are of the world, and they seek the praise of the world more than they seek to teach unto you the law of the gospel. And in the day that ye shall read my words, even in the day when Yahushua shall give unto the world the words of the brother of Jared, Ye shall see your leaders rise up and condemn this work. Ye shall see your leaders rise up and condemn this work. Ye shall see your leaders rise up and condemn this work. And they shall condemn this work because it testifieth against them and bringeth your attention to the truth regarding their wickedness and abominations. And they shall say unto you, Behold, these things are not of Yahushua, for Yahushua will not give unto you anything except he do so through the authority of the church, which is held in the authority of those who have been called of the Most High to serve in his holy priesthood. This is the spell that has been put over you. You believe that you got to go into these churches to listen to the pastor to get the word of the Most High, but his word is within you. He wrote his law in your inward parts. He put it on your heart. He put it in your heart. His word is in all of his creation. You don't need to go to no church made with human hands. You don't need to hear it from a man. You don't need to be taught by some man or some woman. You don't need to be taught by anybody but the spirit of truth that Yahushua said he was sent to us. All right. And they shall speak unto you in kindness and smoothness and in the gentle natures that ye have become accustomed to hearing their words. But in the same way did Benelli entice and convince Cain that he shall reject the words of Abel and rise up and murder him. You see, I ain't read that to y'all. I ain't, I ain't bring that forth yet. And they shall teach unto you their precepts that justify the wickedness of your ways. And they shall justify unto you the need for your churches and your temples and the fine things of the world. Oh, and that goes for you campers, too. That goes for all you camp leaders that are telling people that they cannot be saved unless they come to your camp, unless they're a part of your camp, unless they're a part of your organization. This is a testimony against you, too. And they shall do that which has been done by all the leaders of religions that are not set up according to the principles and the laws of the gospel of the Messiah. 
And now I, Moroni, have shown unto you the wickedness. And now I, Moroni, have shown unto you the wickedness of some of those who profess to be the followers of the Messiah, but deny the power of the Messiah, which power can only come by keeping the commandments of his gospel. But the whole world lieth under sin and shall come under severe condemnation, except that the children of men shall repent and turn their hearts toward the gospel that was given unto their fathers. And if they do not, and if they do not do this, then the whole earth will be destroyed at his coming. And this is what is meant by the prophet Malachi, of whom Yahushua spake when he visited my fathers in the land of Bountiful. The land of Bountiful is the Americas, my people. The land of Bountiful is the Americas, okay? And he said unto them, Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I have commanded unto him in Horeb, for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Let me read that again. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I have commanded unto him in Horeb, for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the dreadful day of Yahushua. So Elijah the prophet is going to be coming back, huh? And he, and he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to the fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. And now I'm Aroni ask of you, what was the law of Moses with his statutes and judgments which Yahushua had given unto Moses in the land of Horeb? Yea, even that law that was given unto him upon the mount. I say unto you, it was the law of the gospel or the words of Hamashiach who was the giver of this law. And when Moses descended down from upon the mount and witnessed the great wickedness of the children of Israel, he threw down the law and gave unto them a lower law. See, this, this is the truth because we can confirm this. We can confirm this with, with other precepts with, which would give us more understanding of the true law that he gave and um, that the fact that he did not re-give this law. He gave us stem laws, okay, because the Israelites could not, they couldn't perceive, they couldn't understand um, the, the, the laws of life, the law of light, life, light, you know, they couldn't understand it. They, they couldn't grasp the law of light, the law of life, okay, so they ended up getting dead laws, all right? So, you, so your Ten Commandments is, is a stem law. That's not the original law. It's a lower law. The Messiah came to give us the higher law. Okay? So let me reread that again. And this is, this is great. That I know that this is the truth. Because I've, re I've never read this before. We're reading this together real time. I have not read this part before. Nothing. The only part that I read was... was uh, uh, of this, before I started reading unto you, was verses 21 uh, through like 24 or so. The rest of this, we're on verse freaking, we're on verse 79, okay? And, and I, I hadn't, I hadn't, I read this with you, okay? I didn't know this was here. I, I, I had no idea this was here, but I read this in other books, Okay? In other books, I read um, that the law that Moses broke, the law that he broke was the original laws of life. That that um, the Most High was like, you you're not gonna, I'm not, we're not gonna rewrite these again. He's like, I'm gonna write it in their hearts. I'm gonna put it in their inward parts. Only the children of light can keep the law of life. Okay, o only the children of light can keep the laws of life. Okay. And when Moses descended down from the mount and witnessed the great wickedness of the children of Israel, he threw down a law and gave unto them a lower law, which was a law of quote unquote sacrifice and ordinances and rituals that pointed them toward the higher law, or in other words, the law of the gospel. Now, we, we I'm not going to get off into that whole law of sacrifice because that's a lie. All right, the, the, that's the, the whole law of sacrifice. The, 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 
we're supposed to sacrifice ourselves, okay? Innocent animals got nothing to do with our own trivial sins, okay? So that's as far as I'm going to go in that because I got way more video. I got so many videos talking against this so-called law of sacrifice, okay? So I'm not going to break that down. This is going to be long enough as it is already, okay? And I didn't plan this, all right? I didn't plan this. I was reading this this morning, and I just I couldn't help but grab the phone and, and just record this because this is important, okay? This is important for those that want to be saved. Those that really, really are seeking um, salvation. You want to be saved from the destruction that's coming upon the earth? Then you, this, is what, this is what I'm doing this for. And I'm, this is what I'm led to do this for. Okay? So, um... Let's see. Verse 80. Okay. And when Yahushua came into the world, he testified unto the people that he had come to fulfill the law which Moses had given unto the children of Israel. And he gave unto them the exact same law or the exact same gospel that he had given unto Moses before the rebellion of the children of Israel. So he had given them the laws of life, the laws of light. Okay. And this same law that he gave unto the children of Israel, he did give unto the Israelites at Jerusalem, so the tribe of Judah. And this same law was given unto my fathers, and this law was also given unto others who are not of the house of Israel, but who dwell upon the earth in other parts that were unknown at the time of my fathers. Yet he has received a commandment of the Father to give these people the law of the gospel also. So like your your Tibet monks, your Buddhists, they're closer to the law of the Most High than your, than your Christian churches, man. And they're way closer to the law of the Messiah than, than your freaking, your Pope and your Roman Catholic churches, man. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Um, so hold on. And this same law that he gave unto the children of Israel, he did give unto the Israelites at Jerusalem. And this same law was given unto my fathers. And this law was also given unto others who are not of the house of Israel, but who dwell upon the earth in other parts that were unknown at the time of my fathers. Yet he had received a commandment of the father to give these people the law of the gospel also. And this he did according to their language and their culture and according to their understanding. And in the last days, the world shall have this gospel preached unto all peoples throughout the world. And it shall be carried unto all the ends of the earth until all have heard it according to their own language and their own understanding. And those of you who belong to this great church, which is called after the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, who believe that is that it is by your words that the world shall receive these things. I say unto you that it is because of your pride that ye believe these things. For when this gospel shall for when this gospel shall come unto you by the way of the record of my father, behold, in that day, this same gospel shall already be among many of the peoples of this earth. And because it was given unto them according to their own traditions and customs and understanding, ye shall not recognize it. But if it teaches the law of the gospel, as it is, it is recognized by the Most High Power. But if it teaches the law of the gospel, it is recognized by the Most High Almighty Power. And now I, and now I would, 
that all the world shall have the words of this gospel and live by the commandments which are given therein, which commandments not only shall save you in the kingdom of the Most High, but shall bring peace and happiness upon the entire earth. And this gospel was taught to the children of Adam in the beginning in such a way that they could not misunderstand what which he spake. Therefore, I return once again unto the words of Adam, according as they are given by the brother of Jared, upon the record that he calls to be written. For they are plain and simple and easy to the understanding of the children of men. And in this way has Yahushua commanded me to present these things. Okay. And we will we will continue with this later because it goes into chapter 19 and explains in plain as the law of the gospel and the commandments of Yahushua HaMashiach. Love your neighbor as yourself. He explains the sacredness, the importance of uh, fidelity in the marriage. OK, so um, I'm going to leave you with the fact that when you are to treat your neighbor as you want to be treated. Okay, that is the ultimate law of the Most High. In the simplest form, do unto others what you would want done unto you. Do not do unto others what you would not want done unto you. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. This includes all of creation. Okay? All flesh and blood beings upon the face of the earth, okay? Take into consideration the animals and their lives, okay? If you do this, then you would not want to feast upon their dead flesh and blood, all right? I want to leave it at that. Shalom.